All right. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Do we have to count in? No. No, oh, I already hit pl- record. Oh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to episode <laughs> ten. 10. Episode 10. That's fantastic. I was thinking about this. So th- so this is a milestone episode, yeah. I would assume, right? What's uh, like a next milestone? Is it 20 or is it like 25? I and think, then is it 50 and then 100? I think or is 20. This... I already spilled coffee on myself. Good job. So, um, let's say hi to the people, though. Yeah, so let's say hi to the people. Hi, people. Hi, people. Uh, I'm Ray. Wait, did we say we're needles at the ready? No, we said nothing. Oh. We just, <laughs> I'm Kevin. And... I'm Ray. Did I say I'm Ray? <laughs> yes. So, Kevin, Ray. Yep. <clears throat> needles, needles at the, at the ready. ready. Episode 10. 10. And today is May 16th. 16th. It is 2020. Yeah, it's t- just after two o'clock here. On we're coming to you from Stratford, Connecticut. Where it's just there after you go. two. Yeah. Wow, this is a hot freaking mess. Totally is. Um, Absolutely. We've actually been like setting up for By the up. last hour. Mm-hmm. You should see the amount of um, effort we put into lighting that. You know. Um, yeah, we're still struggling with the lighting. Um, yeah. I think the quality of the picture is good. Yeah, but the the lighting is a little bit funky. We have two lights. We're in yeah. front of windows. We have a webcam. Yeah. So, eh, what else? Right. I feel like our older videos, though. I was saying it before. We looked warmer in our tone. Yeah. Um. But, but I think it's higher definition. Like I feel like we look a little crisper. We're coming to you in four K. Yeah. No. Not four K. Ten eighty P though. I think that we're recording. Whoa. In, I know that's fancy. Um, so let's see. So what else? So Kevin Ray, Needles at the Ready, episode 10. Fantastic. Welcome back for those of you who have been with yeah. us for a little while. Welcome um, back. To welcome to our new viewers. New viewers. Thanks. Is this normally how we start? It's a mess. We never Every know. Every time. That's, but whatever. It is yeah, what it is. I mean, like, what else are we going to do? I don't know. It's still I fun. I don't want a script. I mean, no. we could put a script right over there. And like and read say, like the teleprompter. Welcome to, yeah. Um, we, and, we can still get it wrong, probably. So yeah, so everybody um, who welcome back, new viewers, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. This is a knitting, crochet, fiber podcast, chit chatty podcast. Um, we chit chat a lot. So if that's yep. not your thing, sorry. Um, <laughs> Real um, nice. No, seriously. No, I agree. We sure. like, you know, like we had just watched what Grocery Girls 100th episode. Yeah. And they said they remember starting off. Jody had said she went back and just watched like bits and pieces here and there. And how those first couple ones, you're not 100 percent yourself and still you're going to be a little more refined. Um, but not refined. <laughs> no, you know, you're going to not like I'm not going to curse like a trucker. True. Or sailor. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. You know, but you, you mean reserved, lie. not really not refined. Like reserved. Oh, yeah. Like reserved. a little bit reserved. Yeah, a little reserved. I'm going to, you know, hold it in. We're going to hold little it bit. in. A little bit. Yeah. Um, and, you know, obviously it's not, our channel's not going to be for everybody, so there's other channels out there that they could go to. That's all. Okay. Right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But we're happy that you chose us to come and hang out with us, because we love hanging out with you. Oh, that's because I said we were chat. We said we were chatting. Some people don't like chit chat. Or huh. COVID talk, so. Right. So, moving on. How was your week? Well, it's been two weeks. How was your two weeks? Um, I gave myself a COVID cut. You sure did. I think it so, came out really well. It's not awful. It's not great. So, you were supposed after, to do mine, but you didn't. No, we never got around to that last weekend. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe this weekend. Maybe. But you got no. I have a hair appointment. We both have a real like haircut scheduled in two weeks. So starting up again. Yeah. Yeah. Like things are opening. Yep. So that's cool. Um, oh, is our microphone even on? I don't even know. Yeah, it's on. Does that look red to you? Yes, that is red. It actually um, looks very low, the bar here, when I'm talking compared mm-hmm. to when you talk. I well, think. it's a lot closer to me. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Um, so, two weeks, did a COVID cut. I was like, I don't have, we don't have um, head trimmers or no. hair trimmers. So, I was just using the stuff that I use for my facial hair. Mm-hmm. And I started on like a... Which your beard s- looks very thick today. I haven't trimmed it down a little bit. I oh. think it's getting wider, like whiter. A whiter. Yeah, white, not wider. Like the color white. White or I thought you meant like wider. No, not wider. That would be funny. The shoe. Yeah. Um so I started on like a seven and then the the cover went all the way down to a three and it just zoom. I was like, oh crap. Oh. So I just had to take it all off. Mm-hmm. So we got some like alpha alpha stuff going on back here, like a little peacocky thing. 
Peacocks are my favorite zoo animals. And then um, a little unevenness somewhere over here. And but I felt like. Well, where are you going to um, go? And who I, are you going to impress? Sir, I don't go anywhere. I like it. Well, that's fantastic. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're I welcome. Appreciate it. Sure. Um, I just go out. Side. Where? Oh, in the backyard. In the backyard. I do deck. go to the grocery store, so people see me there. But you know what, though. You could go out now. I thought about this, looking a hot mess, and nobody knows it's you because your face is covered That's with true. a mask. That's true. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, good. And other than that, you know, the norms. Working. Yeah. Hanging out. It's been beautiful here the past couple it of days. It has. Oh my gosh! It's like seventy degrees today. It was seventy four like right now. Seventy four today. It was eighty yesterday. Yeah. Um, there were fireworks yesterday, which is no mm -hmm. bueno with the dog. He hates them. Thunderstorms, fireworks, and th no thunderstorms. Rain and the same day is yeah. like hell on earth for our dog. Yeah, he gets himself so like ang like anxious and like ramped up that he just he can't settle down. And usually, like rain doesn't bother him, but because there were already fireworks, and it was right? heavy rain, so it was hitting yeah. metal, and the sound of heavy rain hitting metal bothers him. So at twelve thirty, yeah. although what the hell were people doing lighting off fireworks? I don't know. What are they celebrating? The beaches opening next week. Maybe, weekend? maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Twelve thirty. He woke up. We went outside. He was running around the backyard, full speed, like it was the middle of the day, running away from me, trying to get him to come back inside so we could go to bed. Mm. Um, but that's kind of been my two weeks. How was your two weeks? Good. You know, same working. Work. That's it. Work, home, eating. We did cleaning. a lot of knitting the we past did. two weeks. Guys, this is an fo party. We're just gonna totally. So this might be a little bit of a longer episode. But maybe not because we don't have a lot of breaking the bank. No, we don't um so we have yeah yeah no, but we It'll have all um, balance itself out we have We've a got lot quite of FOs. a few things yep um we yeah. have to we have a couple we have our make along to oh, yeah. talk about oh my gosh guys i know another thing holy bejesus what we hit 2,000 subscribers oh yeah right? that's so awesome guys so I thank can't, you uh, it blows my mind unbelievable yeah totally like i'm stupid we're extremely excited and very appreciative and super yes. grateful to have hit 2000 subscribers um so we are officially going to do a give along not a give along nope <laughs> we're not doing a give, give along. along here you go you get one you get one everybody gets one <laughs> okay oprah i know you get a car you get a car matchbox um, car i know remember matchbox cars so micro machines is coming back did you know yes that? and i think is we talked about this with my brother right we, we did talked that was was it your brother? That was the last time we saw people. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That was a long time ago. But, yeah, Micro Machines is coming back. Yep. And um, the, the... The guy. The, yeah, but the guy, I think, passed away, right? I don't know. I think know. it's a new guy. I, but they're still going to really, do the, really like, fast. talk fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I love Micro Machines. They were so awesome. And remember they did the Micro Machine airplanes? Like I, don't, I don't... Stuff? I don't remember. Oh, those were cool. Um, yeah, super cool. So, we, we, what were we talking about? A giveaway. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, so we're, we're going to do, do a 2,000 subscriber I giveaway. I remember, but then I forgot right after I know, I, I feel like we're out of practice, but... Um, yeah, so we're going to do um, a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Yes. I have no idea what the prompt is going to be yet. We'll throw something in Ravelry. Yes, but we're going to give away um, um, this bag. From Knit for Brains. From Knit for Brains. Well, that's actually, the camera's picking it up pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Laura from Knit for Brains. This is her medium-sized bag. So she's got her um, forest friends on the front, raccoons, owls, really, really pretty bag. On the inside is a... Um, nice gray. Yeah, yeah, like grayish silver. A tone. Like... Yeah. Really pretty. Um, and included here is a little stitch marker. There's a ram, I believe. Yep. yep. Or a progress keeper, I should say. Mm, yeah, okay. it picked up. Okay, okay. All right, almost. Well, whatever you saw. Um... There was and, a flash. Yeah. And a needle koozie. Needle Cozy. koozie. Needle keeper. I think they're called needle keepers. I think they're called many things. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's... We're going to give this away, guys, and we're going to ship this out. Yep. Um, we'll have a prompt up in the Ravelry group Yeah. by the end of tomorrow. Really, really awesome. Um, so thank you I for donating got... that, by the way. Yes, yes, Laura. thank you. It was you. really, really sweet of you. Who just came out... Um, Check out Laura's shop. She just... up. Oh, Dated it with some really cute bags. Yeah. Oh, I there was one. She probably doesn't have them left, but um, there was one with like uh, drinks and stuff on it, like a banana mar martini or something. Mm, a daiquiri, banana daiquiri. Banana daiquiri. Yeah. Really I, fun. I put my tongue on the 
Um, I burn my tongue too. On the thing of Pizza rolls. rolls. Pizza we rolls. had pizza rolls for lunch. I feel like a glutton. No, I feel like uh, a. Tr- I don't know. When I eat that. All right. So, yes. So, I'm going to go through this again. So, 2,000 subscribers. Thank you again. 2,000 subscriber giveaway. We'll have that information in Ravelry by tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, 10th episode. Epo party begins. Yeah, but they hear the bags. Oh. Uh, there you go. Wow, look how you can see it. Yeah. So They're really, really fun. I love those. Those are awesome. Yeah. And then there's the... Um, this is the sock sack. Banana yeah. daiquiri, tequila sunrise. Um, really cool. Yeah. Pina colada. Very nice. Fun summery type of drinks. It's actually really cute that the interior is yellow. Yeah. Because it, the main thing on there was the banana daiquiri. Right. She also, um, I don't know if she still has them, but she brought gnomes back. Yeah, I know she said in the last po- her last podcast so I don't know that they that were going to be but... doing a lot of gnomes. Yeah. So check out um, her shop, uh, so... Knit for Brains Designs. So you want to get this FO party started? Let's do it. So you should start since you have an FO on your I'm head. I'm wearing it. So the, I finally did it. I finally cast on and knit uh, Ray's hat. I spoke about this, boy, I feel like a few podcasts ago. This is by Molly Klein Design designs um ray's hat uh that's ray and so, that's so is this oh my gosh look at my hair well you didn't um, do anything to it there's i didn't no, no. there's no product no there's not so um this i used my northbound knitting gray club colorway this is the last one of the gray club colorway in a superwash dk uh, merino dk Hat in, in Happy Place, um, Northbound Knitting. This was her March Club. So there, she did three, three skeins of um, in her club, like three months. Um, you ended up getting the socks. Right, I did socks up. Sock, yeah, and I did um, the bulky or heavyweight or something like that. Eh, it's a little bit washed out, but right. So you got Happy it. Place, where it gave you either DK. So I ended up getting or bulky. Yeah, I got bulky worsted and dk so this is the dk and this is ray's hat so this is really kind of cool um it's reverse stockinette so you wear it inside out um you and you can actually you can kind of see that pretty well yeah no it's coming out yeah really well the um the ribbing you know she kind of does it so like it's supposed to represent rays of like light i guess or sunshine or something like that so it was like a double meeting um but i thought this was really a cool design it was a super easy knit very comfortable to wear i will say however that i do wish that i had gone up on a, uh, a needle size because for me personally i think i prefer a slouchier beanie though it does it is a little slouchier i guess when you like look at it now yeah, it's definitely, I will say, the size of it's changed a bit. Yeah, after blocking, maybe? <laughs> what? I, no, because you... I, I don't know. Like, I don't you, know what's happening. No, you... I think you're trying to fix your hair, but you're pushing the hat <laughs> Because forward, everything's backwards. So it's, like, all, like, lopsided. And I'm like, what are you trying to accomplish here? Oh, boy. Like, see, right now. Know. Look at... What, what did you just do? I don't know. Can you fix it for me? <laughs> How to wear a hat 101. No. I'm done. Just, just put it on. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Better? But I like to have it like up a little bit. <laughs> but, but, you're, <laughs> but you're only doing it on one side. Because so I can't see. It's like it's reverse. Like a, it, <laughs> Go away. It's like a beret that, you know how like people put. <laughs> there I'm done. Would be a the beret? beret? So, no, yeah, kind of like a beret type of thing where you're just like, I don't know what you're doing. But it's really funny to watch. Well, it's crooked on the... On, it's crooked. No, if, if it's crooked on here, it's crooked on your head. Is it crooked on my head? <laughs> yeah. Can you fix it for me? Boy, 20 years of marriage or togetherness. Like, you would think that you would have my back. What the hell? <laughs> um, I've never had so much trouble before. <laughs> because you're trying so hard... Shush. ...to get your hair to do that nice little... Shush I know, it was a nice... Underneath. I thought it was a nice little... <laughs> ...in the beginning. Now I just... Now I... <laughs> just... All right, so um, I knit this. <laughs> I knit this in a what she calls for in the pattern. This is a paid for pattern. 
Um, but she does call to use a US size 7 needle. Now she does say if you want to slouch your hat, um, you can knit a couple more rows and she also recommends that you go up a needle size. So I think if I were, and I would totally do this again, um, and I would do it a little bit slouchier. So I would either add more rows or go up a needle size. I think I would probably go up a needle size. Um, but you know, other than that, I think it looks, it looks good. I, um, I'm not going to try to push it back anymore. No, you know what I actually like with the yarn? What? Compared to, cause you've knit a hat with every single one of your knitting. I did. I did a hat. Knitting. Yeah. Yarns. I should have brought and the they, other ones up there and shown. They have all pulled all, all the colors. Yeah. On the previous two hats, they all pulled. This one is more. I guess it's called flashing when it's like sporadically. Yeah. But it's still you have that line of like green. Here. You have nope. the line of blue. Like they're everything's obvious, backwards. This but, is like a mirror. But they're not um, stacked right on top of each other. Right. Where you're getting this pooling right. effect. Well, I if guess. you look at the yarn too, it's not super heavily. It's mostly gray. You know, and she got yeah. uh, like just like little pops of color in there. Is this one more a rainbow? You have orange, red, green, mm -hmm. blue. Do you have purple? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't see any on that side of your head. I don't know. There's yeah. some like pinkish or red or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah so happy place. Um, northbound knitting. It was a super comfortable yarn. It was very easy to work with. I was very happy with the end result and i ended up with 55 grams still left over so that's enough to do you know another hat if i want to um but i think i'm gonna put this aside because it's dk so like we're starting to build up our dk collection so yeah. it'll be kind of nice you know looking into uh like a shawl or something like that adding another an extra color to it or fading something in yeah yeah all right you know what it's warm in here i feel like i'm starting to get like my man boob sweat i'm gonna start having lines like right under here in a little bit okay good was that a like a warning or are you no you i just like change? Feel, no i'm not gonna change all right i'll do an fo yeah do one all right so, guys mm. off the needle finally is my well raise stephen west clockwork shawl yay look at this i love it long it's thin <clears throat> It's almost more, you know what? It's almost like a scarf knit lengthwise instead, widthwise instead of length. If that makes sense, right? Uh huh. Instead of going up like this way. Right. Yeah. But, yep. Yeah, so this is made out of Brooklyn Tweed Perry mm -hmm. in Henge and Admiral. Henge and Admiral. It's a fingering weight yarn. It is. It is. Uh, hold on. I have it here. I used the I, suggested I needles from the pattern. It is, it, I don't know if it's a free pattern. I don't no, know I how I get myself dressed in the morning. Like, how do I, I can't. So we have Perry and Admiral. And in. This is going to be amazing Henge. in the wintertime. And then this is, so I used. I tapped into two skeins of bolts, so this is what I have less left of each. Wow, the color of these looks really good. It does. Here. looks wow. really good. It's totally true. Um, oh, no, I have to sneeze. Into your elbow. Thanks. Into your elbow. Do it. Um, yeah, I this... So, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. There were some mistakes in there. Um, drop stitches... As we remember from last podcast. Yeah, but you corrected them. You right, corrected I found the one, but then remember, at, so I corrected the one, and I used yeah. the crochet hook, and then I'm knitting on, and then I found one that was like 20 rows down, another drop stitch that I had to correct. Yeah. Uh, so got them corrected. I made some mistakes in the um, bind off rows, but overall, I'm pleased with it. It's a, it's a long knit. Yeah. I finished that on... I'm struggling. You really are. I feel like it's like... What do they call that plant in Harry Potter? The that plant one, in Harry Potter? Yeah, that they, like, devil's, devil's snare. Snare. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm in devil's snare. <laughs> devil's snare, devil's snare. Um, so I I enjoyed it. It was nice. I, I just, I really I enjoy know. doing garter stitch. So I love that. And mm -hmm. I like the 
Slip Stitches is another one of my favorite things, so it combines two of my favorite things. The only thing that could have made it perfect was doing an I-Core bind off, which I think by the end of this, I probably wouldn't have done anyways because yeah. it was such a, a long knit. Uh, what else do I say about it? I don't know. I really like it. It's very comfortable. I wish I knew how to wear it. And I blocked it, and I think this is a good way. I don't know. I'm assuming people so do this, but it. I think it's a good way to block shawls is after I had soaked it and wrung it out, I just threw it over the... Sh <laughs> I threw it over the shower right rod, curtain rod, yeah, and that was it, a, um, that was a good idea. And it, sh the natural weight of the fabric just kind of weighed it down and pulled everything, especially with garter. Garter, you don't want to ruin the the look of it or the feel of it because mm -hmm. it's so bouncy and soft. Yeah, but you're so look how even <clears throat> his stitches are. Thank you. Yeah, it looks really, really good, Kev. I think this is knit on a size six needle, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah. I always forget to mention that. I don't. I don't normally. Yeah. I look at the. And needle do you want to talk about? Um, Remember the very first time that you showed this and you thought it was like the the way the clock worked? But it's gears. It's, it's gears. supposed to be shaped that's like a... That's where clockwork is. Comes, yeah. That's where the name comes from. I guess. Yep. Why can't it be a gear of something else? I don't right? know. Couldn't it be a gear... Call up Steven. Uh, ask Steven. Yeah, because we're like that. Yeah, you guys are buds. Yeah. So this was clockwork, Steven West. Mm -hmm. um, I highly recommend it. I'd... I don't know that I blocked the first one that I did because I don't remember these stripes like leaning, which I just, I love it. I love it too. I love it very much. And Brooklyn Tweed Yarn, when you're knitting with it, I feel like this feels so different than this. After it's blocked, oh, after it it's softens blocked. It up gets so, so much. Yeah, yeah, And I agree. it blooms beautifully. You getting the clumped? Yeah, I'm a little bit clumped nice. from the blooming of the Brooklyn Tweed. The blooming tweed. of the Brooklyn Tweed. So that is my first FO. Great good um second fo is another hat this was why don't you t do yours because okay. this was inspired by yours so after getting that thing done i found that i needed a lot of quick knits yes so i needed a hat yeah i had an idea for a hat and i came up here and i got the yarn and then i checked the pattern that i had and then the pattern told me i had a swatch because it did not for a hat Yes, it did not give you a, net, a recommended needle side. Oh. Excuse me, it said swatch. And I said, hell no. So then I found a different pattern. And I found some yarn that I recently purchased. But I've shown, so. But it's a newer purchase. This is my Lyle cap. Cap. This is a Blue Sky Fibers pattern written by, what was the name? You remember? Wild Cap? Yeah, remember, it's Blue Sky Fibers, but it says that it's by somebody else. Do you remember? No. Did we write it down? Nope, I wasn't prepared today. Me neither. I normally we have... We spend a lot of time just, like, trying to... <clears throat> well, you um... know what? Is that normally I have my notepad here with stuff Me written too. down, I and I don't do that. Me too. I not Hold on. I'm pulling it up, guys. I am too. I have it right here. Nancy Eckvall. Eckvall? Nancy Eckvall, but it says it's um, Blue Sky Fibers. BSF. Comp. So, the yarn that I used is not that one and it's a free pattern it is free pattern which i love it's with dk weight this is into the world yeah on their dresden base and this is called agree to disagree mm, no well you get the idea <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a four ply superwash merino 100 grams, 230 yards, and it's this beautiful. is this is my hat. I've worn this hat uh, yeah. after I blocked it. I wore this hat every day, every for day. a good week and a half. Probably, I think the only day I didn't wear it maybe was yesterday, mm -hmm. and well, prior to this, today. But now you're wearing it today. I so. now am wearing it. So this is what I have left over. I used just over 50, just over 50 grams. You, you, oh yeah. So you used 57 grams. 57. You had used 56. So yeah. 57 grams. So I still have a really good amount of this yarn left over. Um, oh, that's so, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. I, I'm buying more of this colorway. So yeah, it's pretty. 
What I love about it is... Agree to disagree, you said. Agree to disagree. The Dresden base, into the world. What I love is that there's these little speckles of the blue, right? Oh, you know what? I never noticed them. Right? So they're just like these quick little pops. There's one right here. Little, little blue. Like, and Hmm. I was really nervous that this was going to be... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That there was going to be a lot of pooling, and they're literally not. I like I adore this. No, hat. it's like it's beautiful. The speckling it's, on that. Yeah, on a size seven needle. Mm-hmm. There's only five rows of a twisted rib, which yep. that's right up my alley, because you know. You know what this actually kind of reminds me of now that I look at it, like a tiger's eye stone, with the the browns and the oranges and the yellows. I love this hat. So it's he light, wore it it's like airy, yeah. every day, every day. He would not shut up about this hat nope. and how comfortable it was and soft and light. Yeah. So inspired me to make one because, you know, I love hats. So are you done? I'm sorry. Yeah. Did I'm just I admiring the hat you? because I, oh. I, I do. I love this hat thing. Yeah, I know you do. Um, so I ended up knitting one as well. I used um, Savvy Skeins. Yes, I did. In her um, pumpkin latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Ooh, come on, please. This is so, such a perfect color. Ah! That I really want you guys to be able to see. I mean, you can kind of see it, but. um, Pumpkin spice latte in her Optimum DK. 100% superwash merino. She, oh, she, um, she, I'm sorry, did I scare you? No. She um she just dyed some more of this like she just listed it on Instagram. Oh yeah yeah she yeah I just saw it. I was like oh my gosh look I just I just knit with that too. So a pumpkin spice latte it was uh, wonderful to knit up. Yeah it's got a lot of oranges and browns in it again. Yeah and it's uh not a white. Can you see it? I can't. So I'm like blocking myself. No back back up some. Yeah because it's so light in color it's just it is blowing out a bit. Yeah. Um there you go. That that's a little bit better. Okay. It, it's such a nice, like, the main color isn't white. No. It's, it's a it's really like nice a, beige. Yeah. It's like cream. Or a creamy color. It's like It would make sense if it'd be like whipped cream kind it's of. It's like half and half. Yeah, with the orange, and there's some, like, browns in there, right? Are you asking? Um. Well, could, you can correct me if I'm... No, I just didn't know if you I'm trying to, like, block our faces. Oh, I wish that you like it would focus. No, on it, better, it's but... it's really it's a really it's nice a color. really really nice um, colorway. It, it makes it, me want to. It does it. fit very well. Now I did make a mistake, although this is like super. Oh, it's like it's really so light on your head. It really really yeah. Is. It's a very very. See now it's super blown out because it's just so bright. Yeah, um, it is super light on your on the head, and I only I apparently did four rows of ribbing instead of five by accident. Um, and it's a, what did you, what was the name of the ribbing that? It's just a twisted rib. Twisted rib. Yeah. Twisted rib. Um, so yeah, I loved it. I absolutely love it. So I have a lot of, um, I have a, I didn't weigh the, the rest of the skein, but I do have a lot of it left. Um, which is great because I think this is going to go really nicely with uh, another one of her yarns to make a, like a shawl or something. I was just going to say that'd be good in a shawl. I was yeah. thinking, totally. but it's not fingering. Right? Nope, it's DK. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so that was yeah. my second FO inspired by Kevin. Super easy design, super easy pattern. Yeah. Guys, it's such a good knit. Yeah. One thing, if you do knit this, um, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that... that the decreases on this is a, a, are a little bit quicker. Yes. Um, oh, so and this too. So this one is actually Ray's hat. I Didn't can't you say get every... too many too much away. Oh yeah, because it's. Pink. But the decreasing on this was actually the, for the crown decreases was a lot more, like rapid, um, than I was expecting. So I was hoping to get a little bit more length. You know, like when you're decreasing right. on a crown, and sometimes you get a little bit more like length to it. Um, but that didn't happen on this one. This one, the decreases are also um, they they're quicker pretty, than yeah, I'm used to. Well. Um, yeah. And because it's such a, you're using a size seven needle at the top. I felt yeah. like there was a lot of. Um, it's so hard to see, but there was like a lot of gaps at the top. It was a little more oh, stretched yeah. out at you're the right. decreases. I had to sew it. I had to um, sew some things together. Yeah, so I had a we when mm-hmm. I wove in my ends, I had to tighten some things up. Yeah. Um, so I almost thought that. 
doing this hat, the Lyle cap, mm -hmm. is that maybe for the decreases, it might have made sense to go down a needle size once you hit them, just to kind of tighten up the, the top right. of it. But you know what I did with this? I knit this continental style. Oh, you did? Yeah. So, um, one of... Yeah, who sent it to you? Um, look at... There you go. You can see it now, right? Yeah. How nice? Yeah. So, like, my stitches are not 100%, like, uniformed. Um, no, I, I think these are... They're pretty good, though. I have to say, like... Yeah, you no... You can see they... kind of where I started, you know, and how I started getting into, like, the flow of it. Yeah, no, they're pretty... They're pretty even. Yeah. Um, they're not bad. No, they're... Oh, okay. So, um... It's so light. Yeah. So, Michael, for Michael on Instagram, for Michael one um, sent me... He's a continental, like, he knits continental style, and he said, oh, please, you know, you should give it another try, give it another try, and then he actually took a video of him knitting it or knitting in in um continental. continental and so he said this is what he does and so i said you know what? i'm gonna i want to make this hat so i'm gonna try it boy every time i don't know how much sleep i actually got well, last night you know, <clears throat> i was outside running in the rain with the dog at 12 30 in the morning that's really funny it's, in the pouring rain yeah pouring rain and i have shorts on and my crocs I i'm was, running through mm. the backyard in like first it's a drizzle then it's a torrential downpour he was soaking wet. He looked like he just came out of the bath. Bath. Meanwhile, I slept. Yep. He every all every night. I did. Uh, yeah, mm. I'm a good you know, sleeper. He, he, if he wakes up in the middle of the night, you sleep, you can sleep through it. Oh, the dog. Yeah. Sometimes, like I'm sensitive to him. I'm very sensitive to him. But like you are, like I'm able to fall back to sleep. I'm not. You're not. So, like, if you wake up in the middle of the night for, like, a hot second... I get out of bed. You have to get out of bed. Yeah. You got to go out of bed. I start getting bed. itchy. Yeah. And then I get fidgety, and I'm like, no. okay, I just need to get out of bed for 10 minutes, and no. then I'm good. No. Me, I can wake up... I'm like, I wake up, you know, throughout the night if he's, like, trying to go under the covers or crying or, like, whatever. Um, But I'm able to fall back to sleep without having to get back get out of bed Not that's all. the difference because then you get up and then then he got up and then it was no good thing because he had to go to the bat he yeah no he had to go to the bathroom thing. yeah um so anyway so i knit that continental style i thought it was really good and i also magic looped the crown on 16 inch on a 16 inch cord yeah good for you yeah. i'm not trying that yeah I was, it was purely out of laziness i didn't feel like it's either swapping the cord or grabbing dpns although i do miss i do like knitting with dpns I do like doing Yeah, I think this would have been a good DPN one instead of Me Magic too. Loop. Maybe that would have been and like a Probably bit like better. wood DPNs would be good for this. I think this is a case for either wood or like carbons. Car mm. Right? Carbons. Well, so Savvy, I mean, this she this yarn has a little bit of a grip to it. Like, look how, look how the. Um, it's a nice twist. It's a really nice twist. So the metal needles were fine with this, but um, it's super squishy. What else? Did we, did we finish? No. I still have three more FOs. <laughs> yeah. How many more do you have? One. Two. Two. You have two more. I have three more. All right. So I'm going to move on to this one. Why next. don't you move on to your second? Because this yarn I used in this. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. All right. So. This is exciting. This is really exciting. My next do you want to save this to last? We'll do, we can do our. Oh, here. Well, here. I'll do this one for next then. All right. So this. I was going to say to do the washcloth thing. No. This oh. is another Lyle's cap. Yep. I love the first one so much, I made a second. The yarn is gorgeous. This yarn, oops, oops the daisies, is made out of, well, this one is made out of yarn ink in Pebble. Yeah. Pebble. It is a classic DK, four ply, 246 yards. 100 grams it is 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon this we got quite a while ago we um, did this yarn so this is that was actually one of our i think first first like, dyed indie. yarn well mine purchase was purchase without like being able to touch it like from like not from a local no my shop. first one was molly girl no that's a lie molly girl we molly got, girl, we got in, new haven. in new haven the first time so i knew that i liked yeah. it so i bought more molly girl online because i knew that i liked right the base right, right right um so yeah so another lyle 
I love the colors. Me it's too. a really again like a light grayish. Mm. And then we got some different grays and like a dark blue gray in here, some brownish grays. And again, just such a yeah, it's really a beautiful pretty. knit up. I was again really happy with the way that the colors and the speckling or pooling or whatever the heck it is turned out. Um so this one psh, Again, that's really nice. Yeah, it is. Yours is a little slouchier. Um, so actually, this one I feel like I went seven inches, uh -huh. like between seven. If you're supposed to knit for seven and a half inches. I feel like this one might be a little bit smaller. Um, but this one, I I did make sure I went the full seven and a half inches. Look at this. See. Now I gotta wear a hat for the rest of the day. Good. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I need this. I finished this one, and I was using this yarn for a different project, which I'll show next, ish, I guess. And then um, I had leftovers of it, so I was like, you know what? I weighed it, and I had enough to do a lie lap, so I made it with cap. So I did another one. Awesome. So that is F O number trace. Good. Go ahead, you go. You got F O. You have two. Two. FOs. I do have two. Um. Okay. So I finished. Finished my shawlette. Oh, this is gonna get a little super blown out. Blown out I'm sure. What is? That? Would you like me to hold one? Yes, else? please. No, it's good. I can't, so I can't see. Um, but this is the. Let's all move it. Uh -huh. Move. Pivot. Pivot. There you go. Yeah. So this is the all season, any season, symmetrical, asymmetrical shawlette by Petals to Picos um, Designs. It's using Spun Right Round in her classic sock in Party Streamers. Uh, it worked out, there we go. There you go. Yeah, something like that. Party Streamers, um, classic sock. This is all I have left over. You probably could have done more. No way. No? Not with crochet. So it's a four row repeat. It's a free pattern. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a free pattern. Um, it's one of those patterns where you have the link like to a different website. Yeah. You know? Um, but they also had a PDF version as well that you could buy um, if you wanted the printed version, and I did. So that's hers. I like her yarn choice there, but mine is not bad. Um, it's super drapey. Did you feel it like drapey? Yeah, it's very, like, very nice. It's nice. It's, it's um, it created a really nice fabric. Yeah. I think. It's not... I think like sometimes when you think of crochet, you think of how dense the fabric is. Yeah, no, this is not this, at all. No. And I actually went up a hook size than what it's recommended in the pattern, actually, because the pattern calls for a three and a half millimeter hook, and I went up to a four millimeter hook size. Uh, oh, a, smart. A G or an H. G. Um... So, yeah, I'm glad that I did because I wanted it to be a little bit um, drapey, drapey or airy or whatever. I mean, I, this is not for me. I think I might actually give this to my niece. Um, I guarantee if you do, she'll probably use it like a blanket for a doll. Maybe. But it's, I, I don't really know. I mean, I don't even know what to do with a regular shawl, but um, a, a little, that you need a, a little shawlette. Shawl I think cup. you probably need a little, uh, yeah, you definitely a need a shawl pin, pin or something like that. Um, like how do they wear it in here? She doesn't have it on. That's because it's not meant to be worn. Yeah, no, just over the thing. Of course. Kidding. Just joshing you. Stop joshing me, yo. Wait, so, why is this one a triangle? It's like a bib. It's not. See, it's asymmetrical. See, it's twenty six and a half inches by forty one inches. No, I see that. But I'm saying the one that's pictured there, that's a triangle. That well, if you turn it this way. Um, Mayhaps. I don't know. I don't know either. But anyway, so I ended up knitting, crocheting this um, more than the pattern said, because I had the extra yarn. So I wanted to finish up the yarn. Um, so I made it a little bit larger than the pattern says, which I I can't I can't believe. No, I think going longer was smarter. Me too, because there's not. You know, it's already a small. Yeah. Thing. And granted, it's a shawlette, so I'm not 
I, I don't really understand what that means, but smaller shawl. I feel like somebody would name their kid Charlotte. Charlotte? Yeah. Hey, Charlotte. Charlotte, right. get dinner ready. Absolutely. I could see that. Charlotte, being clean your room. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think well, I'm gonna, I think I think Reese would like this. Yeah. We'll see. I agree. She's four years old. She'll be five in December. She'll be five Ooh. in December. Let's not talk oh about that gosh. at all. Um, so that was that. So, yeah, my first, um, no, my first what? My first crocheted shawl. Shawl. I've never actually crocheted a shawl before. Nope. So. Neither have I. That's that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Boy, we're zooming through this episode. All right. All right. Are we? I don't even know. So where next up, keeping with my theme of I needed something quick. Yeah. Did you guys hear her? No, she's very low. They probably couldn't pick up. Um, the dot just said, hmm, I don't know that one. Yeah. And I don't know what question we asked her. I don't think so either. Did um, any of your um, Echo devices go off? So I just made a little dishcloth. I had made a purchase from Joann's. So I was like, oh, let's look at their sugar and cream. So I ordered some sugar and cream. This is in faded denim. Mm. And this is... The wholest version of Grandma's favorite dishcloth. Yeah. That's all. That was it. And so because... Quick, quick, you know, one day project. Yeah. And because, like, the theme for me was being, like, wanting to do everything that Kevin's doing. Want to be like like, Mike. I want to be like Mike. Um, Isn't it Ike? I want to be like Ike? No. I want to be like Mike. No, Ike Turner. Nobody wants to be like Ike Turner. No, it doesn't mean Ike Turner. There's other Ikes in the world. How many other Ikes do you know? I don't. Uh, Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike. Oh, those are... So... I used to like those, and then I hated them, and then I, I'm not sure if I like them again. But we'll see. So I liked them. You did? I didn't like the what are the yeah ones? The, the licorice ones. No, those are the purple and white ones. Yeah, what, what were those? Those were those were those too. No, no, they, they were, were like purple else. and like blue and white and stuff. Yeah, those are together. disgusting. I hate black licorice. That is my least favorite candy. I need it in moderation. Oh no, moderate nothing. Yeah, I can have like one. But I'm like, oh, it's not bad. And then I eat the second one. I'm like, oh, it's terrible. Oh, no, thank you. So the Just... first one I'm okay with. And then I forget the next time around. I'm like, do I hate black licorice? I can't remember. I hate it. So then I had to, it's a vicious cycle. So I, I dislike. So I did one as well. Um, this is in something chocolate. Chocolate ombre? On the back. Chocolate ombre. Good job. Wow, look at me go. Wow, way to, way to no, go. Learning my sugar. WTG. Cream. So this one, um, I mean, these are going to be pretty cool. I've everybody's been kind of knitting dishcloths, and they're an easier. There's an they're an easy knit. Yes. Um, oh, this would be good if you like make it longer. You could fold it over as like a pot holder. Well, or is, is it there that? a different? What's her face? Crazy stock lady. She had showed either a dishcloth or a pot holder several episodes ago that yeah. I wish I wrote down that I want to find because it kind of does the same thing. It folds over. Yeah. Um, but I would like to try that. I think when. We need to make a purchase from Nitpicks that will pick up some dishy. Okay. And this way we have some yeah, more time. Yeah, cool. I mean, they, they will uh, make like a, a good gift. I didn't. I I didn't love. I did not love knitting with cotton. To be honest just, with you, it's just it's uh it's it, was, it hurt my hands. Mm. It hurt my in. I think I too did a lot of knitting, but by the time I got to this, like my hands hurt from knitting it. Yeah. I did a um, uh, I just crocheted a chain at the end. Um, to like hang it up and I was done because this might be like a washcloth in the shower or something like that yeah I was thinking the same thing I might use it as yeah. a washcloth in the shower because I'm really tired of getting those fake the loofas plastic that loofas. fall apart and then it's like I'm a loofah destroyer same. like totally I've totes but goats. literally had them unravel fully and had a five like a six foot train trying to take a damn shower with a yeah. loofah so I'm kind Did of we over say what them. It was? Sugar, sugar and cream. cream. Okay. I may have said lily, and cream. Isn't there a lily and cream? cream? That sounds really pretty. But sugar, 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 and cream. sugar and cream. Is it lily, sugar and cream? Can I see this? I don't know what lily is. Yes, what lily, mean? sugar and cream. Oh, get out of here! See? Oh. All You're right. So smart, Kevin. Oh my gosh. Such I, a smarty patootie. So amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. All okay. Right. And then I have one more FO. I don't think I have any more FOs. No, I think that's all your FOs. Great. So we have one more. Yeah, that's why this I is... think you should save it to last because this is really cool. FO number nine for the episode between the two of us. No. Yeah, that's why I said we had an FO party today. Totally. Right? Love one, it. Two, you had four. 
faux show. One, two, three, four. Five, six, Am I the seven. only one that's cracking up right now? You are. Up. You sure did. All right, so this is a mosaic. Oh, it's beautiful. That I designed. It looks I so good. Used. You know what it reminds me of? US size six needles and US four. So it has a rolled cuff. Let me see. A rolled cuff because I wanted one and then a two by two rib and then um, some slip stitch mosaic it's not focusing there it is some slip stitch mosaic and I love it it fits incredibly oh, it's so well good. it's like a it's perfect I used okay all right spazzy all right spaz so we use yarn ink in pebble in steampunk pebble steampunk <laughs> pebbles are super washed out yeah right now, but pebble is super washed out and it is also happens to be a super wash arm oh wonderful so does steampunk Great. they are both uh 75 25 classic dk classic dk and I used, of the pebble, I only used, I want to say it was 19 grams of pebble. I don't remember how, I don't know how much, but I mean, I have a good amount you of do. this steam yeah, pump left over. Do. Absolutely. And I, I love this. I'm going to, we're going to have Ray knit one. And then maybe, I don't know. Some of you guys had already mentioned. I've never done mosaic. Inch. Mosaic is just slip stitches. That's all it is. Okay. It's, there's nothing super fancy of it. I was just really inspired again by max the knitter mm -hmm. and vincent or designs by dell with their mosaic pattern so yeah. i had knit the snuggles reel for max right and then the lorian's hook by vincent both mosaic knitting and i was like oh i really enjoy this so let me design something and i knew that these two colors to needed to be together and yeah. they had to be a cow yeah i just i knew it when i first started knitting this though i was really concerned you weren't gonna the white and the um no it's the a white perfect wasn't gonna combination pop, but i i love the way me too that this it reminds out. me of like a mayan um like stonework or something What's, like that that you would see and i don't know and this is where like i was re i get yeah no you definitely can see the detail i was really concerned yeah. you weren't going to be able to like well, it looks here great because you can see him going down. Yeah, um, it may be getting washed out a little bit here, but there's like no. There's I actually the, see it. I feel like I could see the design, like the lines going down. Yeah, I I love this. Um, I want to knit it again just to make sure everything is right. Yeah, but it was really easy. I had found. Uh, I just googled mosaic knitting pattern, mm -hmm. and I went through, saw a bunch of pictures. I tapped on one I liked, and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try this, and then. I cast on too many stitches. So I was like, okay, well now I have to alter my plan. So what am I going to do? How can I work with the, I worked, I was ended up being a 10 stitch repeat, I think. So I was like, all right, what can I do with, a, with 10 stitches? Yeah. What can I come up with? So I just messed around and until I came up with this little pattern and I adore it. Me too. I used, um, I think the size is perfect for it. The yarn isn't overly like drapey where it's going to. No, and I think and there's I, not enough. You know, I think that's a great pat guy pattern. So right, and here's the thing, like, and it's the kind of the same thing with a hat. Like with a hat, I do not want my hats to fit like a swimmer's cap no. or just like to yeah, my head, and, and I'll get like know. a skull cap. Like I don't right. like I, this is a little bit tighter for me. Right, you know, and with my cows, I don't want them where it's like, hey. You know, where yeah. it's like wrapped around my neck. I like it right. a little bit looser. Or hanging down like... Right, or where I could like wear it as a shawlette. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> no, you know, isn't there one... Well, there's it's, those it's, shoulder, like right. you pull your... It's not meant for men, but there was one somebody had knit recently. Wait, not recently. Aaron and Chip. 
Well, they have a new episode out. They do have a new, but... Very excited. Early on, I want to say early on, Aaron had knit something and Chip had pulled it down over his shoulders. Really? I don't know. Yes. I don't remember that one. I totally remember this and mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. Um, but that's, I don't want my cow to no. do that where I could like pull it down and, because then I wouldn't be able to move my shoulders. Like, you know, oops, raise oh, my arm. You can barely do that now. Um, but yes, I do. I love this. I have no idea what I would call it if I, like I it a lot. write a pattern and release I it. Like, so I love this. I don't know. Um, I would like Ray to maybe knit it. it. Yeah. I just need some more DK yarn that kind of match. Okay. Um, to knit one again. So you guys let me know what you think. Yeah, you'll have to pick out some Let me yarn know if me. you, um, if you like it, I if you it. think I should write up, yeah. write it up and, because I've never written a pattern. But I, I do, I love this thing. I, I would like to, another one. And I, I love it. really, really enjoyed knitting with yarn ink. It oh, was yeah. so That's I the did first too. time. I knit, yeah, I had, I showed it, um, I think the, like episode three or something like that. I knit yeah, I think the first JoJo's hat wearing. and then I knit a cowl with it as well. And I, honestly, yarn ink, it was really one of the best yarns that I, I, I like worked with. I thought yeah. it was very nice. Maybe. Speaking of, do you guys know what's going on with yarn ink? Have you all heard this or, I don't know. I, we went to her, I went to her site today. Um, and it wasn't. And it was down. So like yarn ink.com. It was down. It Let's said, see. um, Let's see yeah, it said like up. be back soon if you're the owner of this website. Oh, uh, you know contact, what? Contact, you just know, be... whatever. Maybe there was a lapse or something. I hope not. She was a, a great, it's a great dyer, dyer I, great yarn. So I don't know. Well, let's yeah. hope so. I know. Let's hope so. Let's hope, let's hope she's back. still there. All right. And then Maybe she's just taking a little bit of a break. Well, yeah, Pete, you need it. Yeah. So, totally all right. Good. So that's all our FOs. That's it. So now we're moving on to the whips. Moving on to the whips. Do I have whips? I have like two. I have two as well. They're not like super exciting though. Everything's well, super exciting. It you is. should be excited is about my hat cricket again. I'm not talking about your hat. You know what it is because I keep seeing whatever. Now you're like pushing it off. I know. Like... All right, we're done with the hat thing. Like you're a lady I'm in it. waiting. I'm a lady in waiting. I am lady in waiting. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, I think like an eligible bachelorette. Maybe. Like I'm waiting for a wedding. Maybe. I don't know. Who are your ladies in waiting? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. I'm probably on Downton. No, I don't watch Downton. I should though. Maybe should. I've heard you say it. Maybe I you talk so. about. Maybe you say it in your sleep. I don't talk in my sleep. Mm. Mm, you do. Moving mm. on. So quite often, a lot. What? I don't know. Talk in your sleep. Um. Let's do this. Oh, let's pull out the manly bag. This was an How are you inter- not sweating? I'm actually very comfortable. Okay. Well, I'm wearing shorts. I'm barefoot. I have like, you know. <laughs> I can't even speak. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> uh, it's this, you know what it is? I'm blaming the iced coffee. Like that you used too much the, coffee? Maybe. On the recommendation of my mother. Hello, mother. Happy well, Mother's Day. Only took you late. 53 minutes. I know, but I think that's it's better than it has been in the past. Yeah, better than an hour and a half later. Totally. This is the bone yarn. Oh, the iced coffee. Who asked me about the iced coffee? <laughs> Nobody here asked you anything because <laughs> they can't speak with you. Somebody might be talking to the screen. If that was the case, if it was you that asked me tele- telepathically. Um, This is the bone yard shawl by Stephen West. Kevin and I, I are, like... I'm a, I, yeah, are, sure. thank you, are knitting this um, together. Um, I didn't make much progress. Here's where I was before. Uh, down here. Where was you? Here. You made almost that 12 rows of progress. Yeah, almost. And you completed four other projects. I know. That's true. There was right. a lot of knitting. So um, I just haven't had... I like how this looks together. Um, I, I really love the colors. Um, you know what I love, too, is the fact that other people are knitting this. Yes. As well. So a few people who are a few viewers of ours uh, made some comments that they're going to cast on a boneyard or they just cast on a boneyard. Yeah, that they were inspired. Yeah. So um, that's cool. Gary from Urban Yarn is working yeah. on his. And I love his because he's actually doing... You're afraid I'm going to stab you in the eye? Absolutely. I know. You keep like... I'm under control. I feel like I need those science goggles. These from, like, garter bumps. Biology class. Um, He's doing it in a separate color. In a separate color. And I thought that was really cool. So... Um, that's a good thing about this pattern is that you can do kind of 
whatever you want and, and uh, get different results. So Yeah, so it's a DK weight shawl. It is right. a DK weight shawl. And yeah. you're knitting it with? So I'm using um, Cascade Yarns, a G and wool in gold, which is color number seven, color number one, um, and in cream. I think so. I think it's called cream. This is color number seven. It's getting washed up. But, Absolutely. Um, the The tweed is not super in your face, um, but you can see some of like the little tweed specks. I feel like only there. the yellow is tweed. The white doesn't have tweed specks. It says it cream. is. I know. It says that it is, but it doesn't have what I would think of as... It's like super tweed. Yeah, yeah there's no bits and pieces in it. Huh. Maybe you're right. Well, why would it say tweed, though? That's false advertising. I, I don't know. I don't know why it says tweed, but I noticed yeah. that. I think on some of the other skeins, too. Well, it's super comfortable. Uh, super it's good it's gonna it's I gonna be it's super gonna comfortable lock beautifully same it's already like super airy and squishy it's a very light it's very reminiscent of like a woolen spun yeah um it's totally like woolly wool the woolly wool. the yarn it's uh non-super wash and i'm knitting this on a us eight eight yeah five millimeter needles us eight um and that's yeah that's my stephen west boneyard all right, then I'll move on so to... So this is going to probably be my, like, my focus. I might try to be a little monogamous. Monog Mono monogamous. 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 Right. No, don't start don't that. Don't do that again. Do, 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 do. You so, remember those guys? I will move on to Monomino. my Stephen West straw. Oh, I did so not pretty. make much... See how different? Like, they look so different. I did not do much on this because of all the other things, but mm. I was here... Oops. Oh, what are the chances of that? What happened? That my stitch markers got caught around my progress keeper so i was here i did about five rows of it so i think i'm debating on what i'm going to do with the orange when mm -hmm. i add it in i was saying to ray the other night that i think when i get there i might stripe the gray and orange in the middle and then finish it off with the blue and gray again. Yeah. And then do a final border in just the gray. So I'm kind of leaning that way right now. So I think that's part of the reason I haven't knit this is I really haven't decided how I want it to look. Sure. But look at my progress keeper. I know. He's so cute. Focus. There you go. Let's focus. Yeah. So this is it. Same thing. USA. I'm using Brooklyn Tweed Arbor in... Shashiko. Shashiko. Focus. Thank you. You don't have patience. You just let it let it just let take it, a breath. Let it take a breath. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Go ahead. Butte is what we're gonna use for the orange. And then I'm also using a little <laughs> like every time it starts to focus, you pull it away. Cascade Aegean Tweed, which has no tweed in it. See? Just grace. No tweed. No, maybe it's just bops. the texture because like the texture mm. Mm, if they were going to base it off a of texture then it should be called woolen spun it's organic so all you organic lovers this is a good choice of yarn for you it's 100 percent organic well isn't isn't 100 percent wool or just organic anyway wool's organic maybe no. not no no like super wash can't be considered organic because it's chemically treated to make it super wash okay good to know and that all fits in that bag still yeah i have this wow. in my um there's a lot in here there's there six is a lot in there's there. one two three four five skeins of yarn yeah and a shawl and this is in my twinkle and twilight bag this is dumbledore's army that ray got me for christmas let's zip it up oh it's it. the you can barely yeah. zipper that though i now look i have all oh, this yeah, you down have the bottom. Room. shake it up oh, yeah like a cocktail get it down there and look there we go dumbledore's army beautiful really nice good i'll probably focus on that a lot i, I, I actually do you know what i did not do yesterday i didn't knit a stitch i didn't touch a thing yesterday i i think i i what day of the week was it friday right yesterday was friday i worked in the morning uh, well i worked all day mm -hmm. i worked out in the morning mm -hmm. oh I, I worked on some bags in the morning instead of knitting right yesterday that's why I didn't knit. Right. And then I didn't knit last night because I was tired. Kevin's got some works in progress. I have one more. Too. 
your bags. Uh, yeah, some knitting. Not knitting. Yeah, no. some project bags. Yeah, I'm gonna, you're we're trying to work you have on some sewing. Um, and then I have. Oh, one I have more, one more too. One more whip. Do you want to go? I mean, I'll go. Mine's really quick. It's okay. there's Mine's not much here. Too. So, in the previous episode of this fantastic production, previously on Noodles at the Ready. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. What happened? I hope it's still I recording. I hope it's still recording too. Our screensaver popped up, guys. So let's hope that. Can you imagine? Still it says it's recording, but the screensaver popped up. This is in my knit for brain sock sack. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I, w- I keep meaning. I want to throw one on. I don't know which one on. Me too. Um, this is in. Look. Harry. Ron. Hermione. Really is the I wonder smartest. if it's reversible. Do you think those really, bags are reversible? Really is the smartest in her class, huh? That Hermione. So I was knitting Rose City Rollers. I took them off my... My 2.25. 2. No, I had it with my old pair. I, no, you had them on 2.5s, I thought. No, I had 2.25 with 72 oh, stitches. Right. I took it off. I'm back to my 2.5 mm-hmm. millimeter... Chiaogu's, 64 stitches. I'm using Once Upon a Corgi, who lives in the next town over from yeah, us. Milford. In and she has Mo- a podcast as well. Yes, in the Marie Cutie base. And the colorway is Death. Which, this actually reminds me, uh, I feel like if there was a lot of green in here, this could be a very Slytherin yeah. colorway. So yeah, just I just cast these on a, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. They're gonna be great though. So a little progress. I'm at the point now where I need to do my heel flap and gusset. Now, are you gonna do a, a contrasting heel? No. So I have this issue where I always feel like I need to use up, try to use up as much of the yarn as possible because sure. I never know what I'm gonna do with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how to store yarn either after the fact. We've been using Ziploc bags. Yeah, but I feel like that's a waste of plastic. Well, you can reuse the Ziploc bags. Well, yeah, you can. But then they go into the landfills, and there's got to be a better way to store it, these so I don't... Yeah. So I try to use it. So I'm thinking that if I just use this, no contrast heel, no contrast toe, I might be able to use up the skein. So that's kind of what my intentions were. I See, I have an issue with... um, Like, I'm not a good judge. Of, I weighed it, though. I have 50... Yeah. I have just under 50 grams, which I've knit a full pair of socks out of this with contrasting cuff, heels, toes. Right. So if I'm doing a shorty, then with I With like know, a 7-inch leg. Right. I know for mm-hmm. sure that I have enough to do a sock. So. Sure. Okay. So I just wanted another easy knit. So yeah. I thought that this would be a good kind of mindless knit. Totally. So yeah. That'd be good. And you can still wear them in the summertime. So they're like the yes. ankle socks. I, you know? I still enjoy wearing socks in the summer. I know yeah. some people don't. I... I'm not a big fan of feet. I don't really like my own feet. I would prefer not to see them on a daily basis. So I don't mind if they're covered up. I was actually thinking about that today. I think that nails... No, like, let's, no please, don't let's... Are just not... disgusting. Okay, great. So like, um, like on my... Human nails. What is wrong with you? I would just... Look, we know I don't... I just... I am... Speak. This is in my Sunny Stitch bags um, that Kevin got for me last time. Um, showed this on the podcast and i showed also the skein of yarn well oh, that's really that pretty. is beautiful isn't that gorgeous yeah i know um this is lolo oh i don't have my my band but this is lolo did it uh quotable dumbledore club i believe this is our february yes right it's february i think it's february yeah because green was march yeah oh february so red for like hearts i wonder if maybe that like no for the phoenix what? Right? Wouldn't that have something to do with um Fox? No. Or the quote? No, I don't remember what the quote was. Hmm, it didn't either. have anything to do with Fox. Shoot. Oh, wait. Wait. Shh. Look at There's a zipper in here, and I bet I put my ball bands inside the zipper because I'm that organized. Wouldn't it be hysterical, though, if it wasn't? Totally is. So let me tell you everything. So this is from her February 2020. What about Dumbledore? It says, words are, in my not-so-humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. So when he spoke that in the movie, wasn't he lighting or blowing out candles? No, that's when he says, like, 
it's always darkest or something oh. turn on the lights or whatever so um the red is words and this is in her low original base uh 85 percent extra fine superwash merino 15 percent nylon uh it's a three ply and i did oh i didn't even show you how about if i actually show you what i'm doing um i'm using the needle whatever you koozie. want to call it needle keepers needle koozie it's keeping everything nice and nice needle protector oh. this is from yeah needle protector bag protector from your needles so i do you guys see what i did here different than my other socks oh i'm like no toe up and then i realized yeah. yeah look how pretty though i love that color isn't that oh, beautiful man. what am i gonna use that in now yeah isn't that pretty <gasps> i'm gonna use that in my stephen west shawl you are What's Stephen Westshaw? A new one? You are? Are you going to talk about it later? No, remember we talked about it last night. Maybe. Um, And the contrasting color is Wisdom. And that is in the same base. It's her little Lolo, though. So, yeah. So, I'm doing toe up. I'm, I used Judy's Magic Cast On for the toe um, to cast this on. I did a simple, like... I don't know. I think I Googled a toe decrease. I'm just totally making this up. So I did all the math. Um, and I, you know, checked my gauge and all that fun stuff. And I figured out that I am eight and a half stitches per inch. So I knit a little bit looser. Is my, like my gauge is a little bit looser on okay. a 2.25 needle. So I didn't want to go down another needle size right to try to make the stitches smaller so i ended up um casting on 68 stitches i've done the 64 st stitches okay. i've done 72 so now i'm going to try 68 stitches on a 2.25 um wait 2.25 or 2.5 2.25 oh, okay. because my like i said because my you know my gauge was a little bit off not by much you know but that'll add up right yeah yeah for sure um so i i went down i went down some of the stitches that was like you know because like my last pair were on was 72 stitches right so and i don't want to go down another needle size it, can you go down to a two like that would be yeah i feel like i be like toothpicks absolutely you could. so anyway so i'm gonna try i'm gonna do a 68 um so far they the good thing about toe up is that i'm able to put these on as i go around my foot itself you know what i mean so i can see if they actually like feel good and they feel really good around around my foot yeah hmm. that's that so isn't that really pretty though yeah i really i really really like i know i love it too i like the way that it's so um, good knitting up yep that's what i got there so that i didn't do much is all our that was a lot of knitting knitting that's like that was a lot of knitting yeah it was nice to have those easy quick yes. projects to oh be honest gosh. with you um just like something like and and to like not be afraid to just try something new instead of like committing to a, a giant sweater or a giant shawl or something like that yeah you know you're gonna start drinking coffee at the, like, during this podcast. i'm drinking iced tea i normally have tea but it's warm out today it so is. i didn't think tea would i'm be drinking iced coffee that's what I did. I say that? Yeah, absolutely. We I had did. a whole discussion with the did we person talk about the Keurig who is no. watching you and asked you who's not S here psychically. Yeah, you're the psychedelic yeah, the psychic mushroom that you put in your coffee. Connection. Um, no, don't do drugs. Okay, that's all. That's all of our, our knitting projects. Yeah. So now we're at the section in which we have titled "Breaking the Bank," but un poquito. Not much. No money was... Well, some money was spent, but not yeah, much. Yeah, but not much. We didn't do a lot of shopping. We actually have only two things to show. Well, four things, but they're exactly, they're exactly the, same the same because we're, we're twinsers. Twinsies. All right, ready? Ready. So this doing? is... Are doing something together? Well, yeah. this is our April shipment. April 2020 Quotable Dumbledore Club. And the quote for this month is... What happened down in the dungeon between you and Professor Quirrell Quero. is a complete secret. So naturally, the whole school knows. knows. And you know what hit me 
couple of nights ago. What's that? This is like the Philosopher's Stone. Remember how it like the colors of it? Like it's red and purples and it like the way it glimmers in, in the thing. I feel like this is the Philosopher's Stone. Really? Yeah. That's well, what it's it called Complete of. Secret. Um, so it's another purpley base, but it's got some dark. It's got some burgundy like some in it. Black burgundy. Yeah, there's definitely some dark tones to it. Yeah, it should um, be very interesting. Um, knit up, knit up. It's getting kind of washed out a little bit. Though. It's yeah, it's a little. I would say it's a little. No, no, it's actually pretty true to color. Yeah. Yeah, look at mine still. It. I mean, it's not. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's pretty true to color. Yeah. So um, it's it, this feels like super soft. I don't it know does. if it, right. It's like yeah. I think it's it's the same. Yeah, it should be the same. Yeah, eighty five percent super fine, extra fine merino. Hmm. And then it is called um, right. So what's that one? Wisdom. This is this is wisdom. No, no. That's what complete. Are you I'm agreeing with you. Complete secret. I'm never agreeing with you. Again. And this is complete secret. Naturally. Yeah. So this is again the same. So all the um minis are the same color with then yeah. just speckles, speckles of the colors different. of the main mm -hmm. yarn yeah because so. i think like i said like before the uh this looks a little different no it's the same are you sure yeah i'm pretty sure they all i it looks a little bit um it maybe it darker maybe to me like i was just gonna say maybe a slight darker but they're mm. all pretty similar yeah i mean uh, that's well, yeah that's pretty much yeah, it. it's pretty similar okay so yeah, so that's that. And speaking of low low clubs, I yeah signed up for Downton Abbey. Sure upstairs did. Upstairs and downstairs. So I'm expecting to get a Bates. Why are you talking like that? I want a Bates. I want an Anna. I want a. Yeah, but how do you even know that's what she's gonna do? It'd be really interesting. What if she does like the stove? Or like the call bell system. Oh, that could be a cool color. The call bells. Nice something. gold. Yeah. You don't know. It'll be a surprise. It'll be very I interesting I feel like to see. each color is going to be based on a character. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's going to be a Carson, a Mrs. Hughes, a Bates, an Anna, a Bronson, okay. a Lady Grantham. Now, here's Lord the question. Lord Grantham? Now, you, were, yeah. you, were gonna, you were talking about maybe switching your Lolo did it. To DK. To DK. Are yeah. you going to do that? I'm pretty sure I'm going to. She allows have, you to do that, right? Yes. With Lolo did it with that particular club, the Dumbledore, you can switch to I think DK and I believe you can go to Worsted. I think she also has a single sock. We have the sock set. Right. Right, so, because um Jedi Dragoon does the single I don't think she has a sock set. Because but in like my Downton one, you cannot. It's only the sock set. Is it a, it's a set? It's not yes. just like stock skin. Yes, sock set. Sock yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. Cool. Um, and then we have one more purchase. We do. Oh, you can show yours because yours is out of the bag. I'm still Look show mine, so. at how stinking oh my cute God, this is. I love them. So we finally got our bags from I love them. La, La Garçons. I right? love it. So Max and Dell. Max and Vincent. I always say Dell, but Me it's too. Max and Vincent. Vincent De Laurence. So guys... I don't know. I'm making that. First off, this is canvas. It has a zipper pouch it's here. It's thick canvas, though. It's, it's made like incredibly well. Yeah. But there's one thing on here. Let's look inside. It's very deep, actually. Yeah. What do you have in there? I have my sock needles. Oh yeah. So you're using this I, not for a project bag. You're using this as like a. I knitting might use it as bag. like a knitting supply bag. I love this thing so much. After I opened it. I was like, I need to use this like every day. Yeah. So I don't know. Right now, I just have all my sock needles in there until I figure out how I want to store them better. Okay. Um, but let's talk about the best part of this bag. Yes. So it's a couple I can't believe ago, I didn't notice it. And I go to look at the bag because I love it so much. And then I look and I see this. What? Let me get my head out of the way. Focus. Pull back a little bit. It is the Deathly Hollows on the bag. What? I looked I know, at that and I'm I like, think it's so fun. I had never noticed that before. Oh 
My. Unless it's our logo. Maybe they just wanted to put our logo up there. <laughs> yeah. It was like a well, shout out to like, us. I was like, oh my god, that I'm is the most adorable thing. I know. I, I was love so it. freaking. They look so excited. happy though. Don't they look so happy? Yeah. It, it so I it's a good bag. It shipped really really quick. I think. Yeah, it did. Um, especially coming from Canada and posts being what the way is. that it mm-hmm. is right now. Um, it's so it's a lovely lovely bag i think it's all yeah it's all canvas yeah it's like um, but like i said it's a thicker yeah, even the inside and it looks like it has yeah yeah very well made obviously mm-hmm. i love it the colors yeah. are great i do love the color yeah i, I love the the olive green yeah olive oh. green is one of my favorite colors what oh i thought that that was the definitely hollows again but that must be their this is so what's paradise Island? so paradise Paradise Island is who makes the bags for them. She's the oh. one. I, I, so it's their artwork. It's their artwork, and Paradise Island is oh. the production. Does gotcha. the production of the bags. So that's why it takes a little bit longer because there's the... Right. What's this screening? What's that called? I guess, but it's like... Silk screening, maybe? Yeah, maybe. So, so that... But very well made. So if Yeah, it's very nice. I would rec- highly recommend that bag. I Me love too. the... Obviously, the progress creep. But I actually use my tape all the time, too. My measuring tape from them. Mm-hmm. I have one. I have one in my bag right now. Yeah, my um, um, my sock bag. So I believe that's like our knitting content. We're actually doing very well. We're going through this a little bit quicker than I thought. Are we going too fast? No, we're not going too fast. Are we going too fast? No, no. So we have Um, one more piece of knitting content to talk about. It's Wait, are those all of our shop. acquisitions? That's stuff all here? of our acquisitions. Yeah, see, we had a yeah, pretty we good... didn't really purchase stuff. Yeah, um, I mean, we have some more of the Lily sugar and cream downstairs, but oh yeah, I forgot. We about have like that. two more colors. I think we have a another brownie oh, one. We have the window open and a right green now. one. Has it been really distracting? No, I haven't heard anything. Outside. I have. I haven't either. But then I just heard it now, and I'm wondering. You know how sometimes you get so used to like hearing sounds? Yeah. That they don't bother you anymore, but then true, yeah. But no, I don't. Th- I don't think so. I don't think it like there was no like gunfire or fireworks or anything outside. So it's not Thank like God. a tornado ripped through their backyard no. and distracted it's glorious, everybody. Glorious though, looking looks glorious. Um, so we have a new. Have your lighting changed? So that's the thing I I Since think we that we have to think about too is that going from January to now, yeah, where the sun is located outside it's has be changed. So our lighting is going to be a little bit different here, depending on the time of day. Yeah. Um, so we have a our the first. So we have our make along. Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about our make along. So that we're co-hosting do... with Amy from Happy Little Yarn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Andrea. Yep. From the Cat Lady Related Podcast. C A C C. Craft all the things. I was gonna say project. I don't know where that came from. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's our make along. Stress free. Um, where you could enter anything that you'd like. Yes. Oh, we welcome. I forgot to pull somebody. You pull somebody while I talk. Okay. Don't tell anybody that was shot. Um. So yeah. So knitting, crocheting, paper crafts, sewing. Um. It's all in our Ravelry group, which we have here at the Needles at the Ready podcast. We have one of those Ravelry groups that you could go and join, which we have we over do. 300 members. Right? Oh my gosh, I know. We're at 330 members, that which is... is so incredible to me. Oh my I gosh. I can't even believe it. Um, and Ravelry has been really difficult to stay on top yes. of, guys. I, honestly, like, it's God really bless hard. The people and, who can. Right. And so if you're posting something on Ravelry, like, for us, like to say something to us, just shoot us an email on Ravelry instead, like or a message like that on Ravelry because well, it's very difficult. I think it's difficult. No, I say. I agree with you. I was going to say you know they I mean? have something super specific. like important, yeah, specific or a question or whatever. Right. We will get to them of the, the like, threads eventually. We read, yeah, all totally. the comments. It's so but difficult trying to, to reply to all of them. I Indeed. just I personally don't like the way Ravelry set up. Somebody had recommended yeah. that once you comment on a Ravelry post, it shows that there's a comment on it. Mm-hmm. So I'll go through and then it's like, oh, 10 comments from Kevin. Just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And I'm like, that doesn't look, it just doesn't look good. Um, but please don't hesitate or don't stop posting in the Ravelry. No, 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 please. I love it. I love seeing the interaction. Everybody's like interacting with, with each other. Did I, yes. step, did I step on your toes? No, no, my toes are fine. Thank oh, you, though. Good. 
I appreciate it. Okay. Um, I have slippers on my feet, so it's okay. I have a little protection. Um, so yeah, so we have our stress-free make along. We still don't have an end date. We're just waiting until, you know, all this ends. Um, it is going to be, go ahead. Did you do your random number generator? Did a random number generator. Uh, we talking? had 43 entries in our FO, FO thread, which is bizarro to me. It's so great. Um, we had like 14 last time or something like that. So people are like posting some really fun things. So our random number generator gave me uh, number 33. 33. And that is, did you hear that little rasp in my throat? 33. Let's go up. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? So we'll yeah. show some more things because I think that this is really good. Oh, this is oh so my cute. God. So I, I'm doors. glad that this chose um, this person. Oh. So this is, is Stitch Vitch. Stitch Witch. I love it. Um, oh, my God. She is Bethany from Lancaster, United Kingdom. So Bethany. Bethany, uh, me, I can't get over this. Guys, what the? Look at this stinking cutie. Oh my gosh. Scroll it's a down. little Oh, no, I just like went down. to go lift the phone yeah, up. Yeah, no, you got to scroll down on your phone. Look at this. Holy. Oh, please focus oh because my God, it's oh so my cute. god, it's so cute. It's like a little frog. I think he's a frog. He's got to be a frog. Or well, let's see. Read. It doesn't. That's all it says. She just says, "Isn't he handsome?" Oh my. Well. So, Bethany, um, please. I feel like it's a frog or a dinosaur. Does it almost oh, look like not yeah, your mama? It does not your mama. I do. This thing is adorable. 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 Like super adorable. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit more so you guys can really appreciate this if you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh so my cute. god, it's so friggin' cute. The overalls I know are adorable. Are it. And oh like it looks like the sweater is knit. I think so. On there. So I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping that you sewed up this frog thing dinosaur as well um if you didn't it's totally fine but just let us know the, because the sweater itself is is stinking the whole is cute look, the whole thing is adorbs the props are great totally so love it so stitch witch um wait really, why is it not focusing oh Honest. no oh no come back baby come back you can look at that look at that magic me. um yeah so please, um, please yeah, respond. Awesome. You know, throw us a comment or something, and let us know what that was. Um, if you actually sewed the whole thing, and uh, yeah, if you did, you're a hell of a sewer. Totally. Oh my god, I love it so much. I saw that earlier today, and I was like, oh, how cute is that? Um, um, and then Kevin, this is the bag that Kevin saw. Yeah, I by, just saw um, this him scrolling through, and this is adorable. As this well. is adorable too. This is by um, Jonita sure. from the Netherlands. Um, she's actually pretty lens. active in our um, our Ravelry group. But she said, a few days ago I finished this project bag. I was in desperate need of a new one. I seem to have that a lot lately. The pattern's by Erica That's Arnd I, on yes. YouTube. I So I used a little bit of her ideas for her mm -hmm. bag for mine. Yeah, so she said she made some modifications in the size yep. and left the outside pocket out. Yes, but I knew exactly. The... I watched the same exact video. This is the bag. It's really, I love it's the It's really fabric. cute. Really cute. It's I not wish, focusing no, on No, I know. Oh, come on. There, there you go. go. Beautiful. Really cute. I like that. Yeah, super um, nice. Um, so, really, so we've had a lot of really amazing entries. There's a lot of socks. There's, um, you know, booties. Oh, a ton of socks. A little yeah. sweater, baby, baby sweater. So cute. We have our other one to talk about, too. Yeah, I know. I know. This is just so fun to watch. So the thing about these FO threads is that, like, it's no chatter. I, so we yeah, can't we really can't be like, on. oh, great job, you know. But um, but I love being able to share it here. And we have a lot of people chattering. We have a chatter thread as well. Um, so keep it up. And um, really excited. Really, really exciting. We don't know when this is going to be over. It started on April 15th. No. Yes. Yes. Um, and We're gonna keep going. the prizes that we have for that so far are from Amanda Nitz, right? We're going to do this two skeins from Amanda Nitz? Or no? Yes. Or are we doing... No, no, Amanda Nitz. Yeah. So, um, I... 
don't really want to. Um, we will. We'll make sure we show it. Um, yeah, as we get closer. But there are oh, two yeah, schemes. Have... There's. Okay. Yeah, we have a while to go. For what? For, I think for. No, I was, I was just making mental notes of two other things that we need to just dis- three things that we need to discuss. All right, go for it. That's all, right. all I have to say. So next up is soon. Now we have this one, but now oh. we're going to do our very first. Just needles at the ready. Make along. Yeah. So it's a knitting crochet along. Okay. So we'll call it a. We're just going to call it a cow. We're going to call it a cow. It is called the needles at the ready. Let's hear it for the boys. Cow. Yes. So what we wanted to do because this was one of the main reasons the podcast started was to highlight male designers, designs for men, and male yarn diner dyers. So let's hear it for the boys is to celebrate those types of groups of people. So Mm -hmm. you can enter anything that was made with yarn that was dyed by a male, a pattern written by a guy, or a pattern that was knit up for a guy. Yeah. So that's just kind of... Or by somebody who identifies as a a male. Yeah. So we just wanted to celebrate that side of it. Right. So... Let's hear it for the boys. Let's hear it for the boys. And it will be... We're going to start it on June 1st. Yep. We're going to let it run all of June, July, August. We'll have a FO thread and a chatter thread. And then prizes, we're not sure yet because we had an idea. But I was like, wouldn't it... We need to have yarn <laughs> that may have been... Um, yeah, we're gonna die, we're gonna yeah we're gonna look for something that or like a bag or something yeah that was like maybe Kevin maybe you can donate yeah. a bag um, I'll donate a bag if I can learn how to make them well enough with you're the making them very months. well you have a really awesome I tried a bag today downstairs. and it's inside out well I think you rushed it today to I think honest. I was too tired I probably yeah. shouldn't have done it no I think like I said um, I think you rushed it I think you just needed to take some time yeah so I I'm excited for this I think it um we were trying Me to too. come up with a name. And let, can I tell you how many times we started singing Let's Hear It For The Boys? I know. I don't even know Throughout, if that's the right way to sing it. It is. It's from Footloose. I know. Um, so, because we obviously didn't want to be like, no, we just, are you looking for it? Mm-hmm. Let, yeah, Let's Hear It For The Boy. I think it's actually just Let's Hear mm-hmm. It For The Boy is the song, but we're calling it Let's Hear It For The Boys. Um, no, don't play it. Why? Because we don't have copyright to that. So we can't put it on YouTube if you're playing the song. We can't? No. It's like Twitch. You have to like do copyright stuff if you're using something that's not created by you. Even if it's just like I just play like ten seconds. Yeah, just like when I stream on Twitch and I play music. Sorry, guys. It mutes it. It it can mute the whole thing and not show any of the chat. Well, good thing you're here because I didn't want to be in trouble. Um, Yeah, I and it's like all review stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna do let's hear for the boys. Yes. To just celebrate men in the yarn community. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. So I think so, that's going to be fun. Yeah, and, it's and a our good prizes will be, um, like you said, we'll we'll see about trying to get something together from like male. Oh, oh, and, and male, speaking of male designers, that's exactly where yeah. I was just going to go to. So like male designers, which a perfect one would be Makers Knitting. Yes, who did the Wonderland socks that I showed last week, mm-hmm. last podcast. Um, Max, Vincent. Yep. Um, There's a lot. Stephen West. I mean, we're Stephen doing West, some Stephen West patterns right? now. You know, so. I it doesn't just, have to be a masculine type of pattern. No. You know, that, it's just... Right. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. The so difference. You can mm-hmm. make a pattern that's designed by a male designer. Correct. It doesn't have to be for a guy. But right. if you're using, like, a designer, let's say, by um, Andrea Mowry... Right. It would have to be a design that's knit up for a guy. Right. That's all. Or, a ma- like, a gender-neutral... Yes. You know, we don't want to be, like, exclusive or anything like that, but... No. You know, we want to shine some light on the... The males in this community. Yeah, on the yeah. on that side of uh, on that part of the knitting community. On Absolutely. The more masculine colors and patterns and people that we knit for. Right, because that's what we enjoy. Right. You know, I know. I was looking for patterns the other day, and I'm like, gosh, yeah, I want to knit something for myself, and I don't know what to knit. I do mm-hmm. want to knit like it's either the shift cowl or night shift by Andrea Mowry, I believe. Right. Like that's up there. I, I, I mean, don't struggle. get me wrong. I love the purple and pink socks that I have. Like, you know, there's, there's still, like, it's not I like, necessarily the colors or, you know, whatever. It's just no, our it's mood, the design. Like, whatever, you know. It is the design. Totally. I, obviously, color plays a part. I don't yeah. mind wearing purple and pink by any means. Um, 
But sometimes it's the tone of them too. Maybe. Like, yeah. uh, you know, so, or the way that, like, I, like your Chalette. Yeah. So like I this, wear I, I, I don't think wear I would this, either. I couldn't, I, not that I couldn't, but Same. it's not something that I. Yeah. Wish. There's nothing wrong with and, and right. it. I think it's okay to feel that way. Right. You know, I mean, it's totally fun, and but I, you know, I do think it's a feminine pattern and, uh, um, right. that, you know, colorway. I mean, that's but the thing with that's colorways. totally fine. And you know, if I'm in the mood to to wear something like that, then I would. Who cares? But um, just not my everyday. It's just my personal, right. our personal, you know, everyday style. So yeah, so yeah. we will talk more about it. Yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be really the awesome. next podcast. Like we'll have more details. We just want to throw it out there so that you guys could start preparing. Totally know that it's coming because it yeah. will start June first. Mm-hmm. So that leads me into the next Ooh, smells really good. Um, topic is that we are going to do a live yes, next week. Yes, totally. Next, oh, I think so we're going to do next week. We have Saturday. a lot going on. Yeah, so because we did it for the 1,000 subscribers, we thought it would be a good time to do another live since we hit 2,000. That was like only a month ago, I feel like. Wasn't it? No. No, it was a couple months ago. It was? Yeah, so we're going to do the live next Saturday at 1 o'clock Eastern time. We will post reminders on Instagram. Um, you said next Saturday. Next Saturday, oh. one o'clock, Eastern time. Okay. Because I, we be, did it on Easter, remember? Eastern, I think. No, yes. we did it was Easter. we did it Easter Sunday. Easter so I Sunday. figured Saturday is a little bit easier, especially for people in other okay. parts of the world, sure. because it may be Sunday for them right. instead of it being Monday uh-huh. for them on a Sunday. Okay. So I think Saturday is a good confusing. day. So we'll do Saturday afternoon, one o'clock Eastern time. We'll do a live. Same thing. It's oh, and for the live. What we would like to do is do like a and a sec- session. So we're yeah. going to open up a thread in Ravelry where you could type, um, ask us any questions that you'd like us to maybe ask on the live stream next weekend. Also feel free to comment below with any questions you would like us to maybe talk about in the live stream next weekend. Okay. And we will choose some from both places and there will be a that nice be marriage fun. of those questions. And we will kind of do that and just do some knitting for like an hour and a half next weekend. Um, and then, so that's next weekend live stream. We'll put that in show notes. Like a reminder? Yeah, no, in our show notes below, we'll put that like towards the thing, like live show, blah, 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 like a okay. reminder type of thing. Sure. We'll, we'll post on Instagram a couple times during the week just to let you guys know. And then... Yeah, it'll be really fun if you guys show. Can. Yeah, it'll be fun. New I like doing the live. We'll do, yeah. but like, we'll be like, it'll be a chill. Yeah, it's not going to be like this. No. We're not going to show off projects. We'll totally. work on. We'll, we'll like knit. It's going to be we'll Q- hang out. We'll chit chat. Right. It'll be yeah. a Q and A totally. type of thing. Yeah, and, we'll and it won't replace knit. you know our no. regular scheduled programming. Scheduled program. Same bat time. Same, same bat, bat channel. channel. Uh, what? There was one more thing. Crap. I think that's it. And then the only other thing that we t- normally talk about is what we've been reading and watching. Yeah. What have you been reading? I wa- have reading? been reading. Oh my gosh, we are over an hour and a half. I thought we were quick. No, we were quicker until huh. we had a lot of things to discuss that we forgot. We did. Yeah. Are y'all cool. still there? Did I say hello to my mom? I sure did. You did. You said uh, much earlier. I did. Yeah, Good I think job. I like a 40 minute mark or something. Yeah, that's like probably that. because you talked to her this morning. It was right there on I the did. top it was of your head. Front of my front of my brain. So what am I, what? Reading? reading? I'm still reading the, um, no, I started the third book. Of Blood and Bone? No, that no was so it's one. the Chronicles of the One is the series. Mm-hmm. You started the third book, which is called Rise of Magic by of Magics. Nora Roberts. Yes. Very good book. I should get the name um, of the one I'm reading. I, I very much enjoy it. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually kind of... I'm only like 20% in, but I'm kind of sad that it's already going to... It's the last one in the series. I like the characters. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, they're good. Um, I am having a little bit of a struggle because I read at nighttime before I go to bed, and lately I've been so tired. I think I mentioned this before too, so I'm only getting through like 10, 15 minutes a night, um, and it gets so good. And I think I must be like falling asleep, or my my subcon or like my consciousness like turns off, but my eyes keep reading because I don't I do that. And it's like, wait, what? Where, what yeah. happened? And, and then then I have to like and, go back. Yeah. I'm like, I don't remember this. So um yeah anyway that so that's my that's my my thing with that so I'm gonna start going to bed a little bit earlier. My problem is that I I want to continue to like read in bed um, as part of like my nighttime routine as opposed to like just sitting on the couch and reading because when I do that I get so sucked in that I just don't stop or I mm. can't stop and like I I walk with the book in my hand and like you know yeah 
Um, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Remember when, like I would sit like in the friggin' bathroom, on the bathroom at the floor. apartment when we smoked and you would read and smoke in the bathroom. Because we only smoked it when we had our apartment. We smoked it only in the bathroom. Yeah, it was, it and was. so you would sit in the bathroom, smoke, and read your books. Yeah, it was like the library. I don't know. So, like, yeah. I, I was, you know, I just... What else? I like it. I like the book. Good. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. I am reading... I finished, since the last podcast, a book called... Stop. Kindle. Stop being finicky this to me last time go back what are you doing i'm trying to figure out the name of the book that i read all right let's try that again so i read this book so we started watching we'll move ahead to that while you're trying to figure this out i've watched a lot myself. we have but we started last night again guess what came out on amazon, amazon prime. prime alias with jennifer, with jennifer garner. garner love that show so much um yes. she was so amazing in it we were like we watched that show from start to finish it's such a good show um it was, um the first three seasons were excellent seasons yeah. four and five were like weird totally weird it went from like spy to sci-fi which yes. is nothing i like sci-fi a lot we both like sci-fi but um it was very an interesting jump to that but um yeah, so that was really exciting. We got through the first episode, and then we started the second episode last night. And then the dog ended up going a little bit cray. Um, and then we stopped and went to bed. And then we stopped, and then we went to bed. So I started reading A Fairy of Bones and Gold. It's called The Soulbound Collection by Something Turner. It says Kindle Unlimited, so I can't read it. So um, I read that one, and then I'm reading currently the book two in it called All Souls near and nigh oh. um, so this is another supernaturally mm -hmm. um book takes place in new york i think i heard about it from the nick girls oh the nick girls they're good i that? like their podcast like the nick did girls? i do that or did no you do i that? did that oh um the nick girls yeah <laughs> so yeah weirdo. um so yeah i've been i finished book one i'm started book two mm -hmm. um i wasn't a huge fan of book one until i got like 50 to 60 percent through which is a yeah, long you, time you, for me to go yeah i was surprised that you actually continued um, to read it because you kept saying too. like oh i'm not sure how i feel about this book it was it's another um man man romance thing and it was it's way more graphic than the tj Kloon books that i've been reading and i wasn't really sold on the character I, i'm more leaning that way now where i'm more sold on them and i want to kind of see excuse me where stuff goes because this has you know different levels of magic and mages and so like there's mages with the witches and then there's like armies like the mage corpse and then you have were creatures where jackals tigers wolves blah 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 and then you have what that succubuses and, had weird jackals and Somebody. Oh, and that other book. What was that book series that you were reading? That we you introduced me to. Oh shoot, by the same by the Audrey Fay song. Yeah, 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 whatever. Audrey Fay. Yeah, um, yeah. The ghost. Wolf, she had like ghost wear, mountain. like the yeah, they have wear, and yeah. everything. Yeah, they have shift, like yeah, they shifters. Have shifters. Yeah. Um, so I've been reading that, and then watching. I've done a lot of watching, guys. I have started The Last Kingdom, on Netflix, and I finished season one. I've started The Wire on HBO. I'm three to four episodes in. I've picked up my viewing of Voltron. You did? Yeah. You I'm, didn't tell me that. I'm only watching oh, that. Oh, at... selfish bastard. No, I've I started watching that months and months, mm -hmm. like a year ago. So I probably did seasons one and two of Voltron, and I am now on season four. I think I finished season three because they're quick, twenty minute, half hour episodes. Right. Ish. So I watch one, one and a half before I go to bed at night um, while the dog's kind of winding down. And what else? Have I and then movies, I've been just watching them God, all. I watch like nothing. That's because you watch what I watch and what you and I watch together are podcasts. I know. We've been, I've been, I oh love so podcasts. You know what? We are, guys, yeah. we need to move it along because we have podcasts to talk about too. Okay. So what else have we watched? This is really comfortable, Kevin. Thank you. I do. I enjoy it. Really good job. I love the 
the roll. The I roll. love the roll cup. It's the roll like, cup it's is super... from my J. Crew yeah. baby blue roll oh, I neck remember sweater, that. You wore that which I loved. And then I got a new sweat shirt. I think I've worn it on here, possibly. Maybe my blue hooded sweatshirt, sweater. So it's a hooded sweater, not sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. But the cuffs roll down. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I would love this detail in a cow. So yeah. I did it. Um, so yeah, so I've been watching a lot of movies too. Mm. I don't know what I've watched though. I've watched some oldies. Oh, Trouble with the Curve with Amy Adams, Clint Eastwood, and Justin Timberlake. I love the movie. It, I don't know what it is about like the, the movie. baseball movie. Yeah, it, he's a scout. Oh yeah, Clint Eastwood. Um, yeah, Justin Timberlake is a scout in there too. I actually found that I do enjoy sports movies. I, I'm a like a rom com and a uh -huh. sports movie guy. I like sports and movies like um, uh, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, I like like sports movies like yeah. this one, Moneyball. One of my favorite ones ever is The Cutting Edge. Oh, I know. The Cutting Topic. Edge is so good. It's um, really good. All right. So, okay. yeah. So, that's watching. And then we have podcasts, right? We have podcasts. So, we have... Do we have two new ones to us? Uh, I, so, I don't know. Well, I didn't, like, write things down today. Oh, one is The Bearded Pearl. Oh, The Bearded Pearl. Close to Amish yeah. on Instagram. So totally. I'm, most so, of you may know him. Yeah. He started on episode one came out earlier in the week so as soon as yeah. i saw congratulations that... on your podcast yes caleb caleb yes score yep. good job um yeah it was really good I, I enjoyed watching the podcast um i've always admired his knitting through mm -hmm. instagram so i'm really excited to see um it's really cool when people talk about their yarn choices their like needles that they like the patterns like you get somebody's thought process yeah um so, I agree. so that was a uh, cool. Do you know what every podcaster has? What a freaking IKEA bookshelf behind them! I know how many. I, They're so good. I was like, Do you know I, how we many need to people? get a second one. We need to get rid of those books and we, add yarn we, there, I, and we, then I'm like, we are not getting us. Do we put this thing here in this room? And that, oh, that was, was it was it brutal. Was a we could barely get it up because yeah. there's the space with it being done. We do have a lot of space issues, space issues. In just in the, because the way we have our desk set up. I know. We we'll might have we'll to redesign that. at some point, and I think that we when can we probably buy a have house, more. That's when we can redesign. Well, that's not going to be for a little while. Who knows? <laughs> no, who knows? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, A Bearded Pearl. Definitely go check him out. Yeah. He, um, it was, I, I loved it. Oh, those other too. girls. Oh, yeah. Moon Fiber. Blue Moon. Moon. Blue moon. You saw me standing alone. That's another movie. I love see another rom com. I love the Selena movie. Yeah, ah, I know. Selena. Um, you know what's new to me? Not really new to me. I've seen her before, but I thought she was hysterical, and I want to be her best friend forever. This uh, Fact Scroll speaks. Oh my podcast. I know, like I know she's got a, like everybody probably knows about her, and like she's got a lot of um subscribers and like whatever but i honest to god i want to be her friend i feel like i just want to be in the same room as her i think she has a, amazing energy she is really funny she's herself she doesn't care oh i just love her i just i really love her so we watched her the other night and uh and then, she has a new episode out and i just loved it I, I really loved everything about it i don't remember her name though oh covert knits right so we yeah so it, you know, again, we've been watching Covert Knits. I started watching Covert Knits a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So I introduced Ray to Covert Knits like two weeks ago. Yeah. And then we watched the most recent episode the other day. And Covert Knits gave us a little shout out. So she thank did. you. Which was really, like, yes. it was really sweet. It's really um, interesting to like hear our name still. Um, I know. I'm. It's like, what? It's like, it's like wait, wait, who? Who? Yeah. Who's we on must first? must be talking about somebody else. Um, but yeah, so Covert Knits. Um, I, you know what? So... And this is going back to the, um, like, I like a bunch of different things about different podcasts. Me too. I love long ones. I love short ones. Yes, same. Um, so I like, she has a shorter Ours is one. going to be like. Ours, guys, I'm really sorry. <gasps> we have to stop. I know. Kevin, we got to go. This is bad. It's an hour and 44 minutes. What are you talking about? I don't about? know. This is awful. Who has that much to people, say? It's going to take know... people like seven weeks to watch this one episode. I know. They're going to like see that it's an hour and 45 minutes and just skip right past it. <sighs> Shame on us. 
But yes, so Covert What are we even talking about? I don't Do we know, even have like quality content? Like I have no idea what we're doing. There's absolutely no quality here. I don't even um, know. So Covert Knits, check her out. Check out um, Bearded, Bearded Pearl. Pearl. And I think that's all I have to say. I will check our show notes on this. Yeah. We started like sharing. Um, we're trying to be a little more put together and it doesn't work out. No, apparently. I feel like the more we try to get put together, the more uh, falling apart we are. Um, so like we're sharing the the not it's not a Google Doc it's a Pages it's a Pages whatever doc, it's called yeah. and um trying and, to like update the show notes and stuff yeah and then um and then the rest of the podcast are just like our normal ones we did Grocery Girls Cozy Up mm-hmm. Chevy Row mm-hmm. Chevy Row didn't have a new one I don't think I thought we saw one no a couple weeks la- maybe after our last one no it was I thought it was before. Where she made the drink and then yeah, her husband made came in. Oh, yeah, and he took and the he, vodka and he away. put a lot more <laughs> put the in. the vodka in. Um, oh, she's hilarious. I love I her actually too. keep thinking. She's oh, doing like, I want to be like her friend too. Oh, my God. I, I want to be everybody's friend. I want to Won't do. Um, I keep neighbor. thinking about doing her 80s cow. Now, yeah, I got to look and too. see if I have a yarn that has like an 80s. This yarn probably would have been and good then for we're gonna it. Watch Don't you think? This is like an 80s. Yeah, maybe ish. I really um, like how this feels. We're going to watch Fiber really Hustle when we get done. Yeah, here. I'm really excited. They Fiber just Hustle had a new episode one. today. Somebody else does um, too. Avid Knits has one. And then Sweetie No Shade's been keeping us up on Angela Lansbury. Oh, yeah. They're Angela Lansbury. And John's Oh, it's John's. Sweater. No, it's, it's Scott's, Scott's birthday. birthday. So happy today. birthday, happy Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. You're probably not going to watch this for like another few weeks. Because I think they, they... They might be sleeping. They went for a hike. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't think that they're caught up yet with our podcast. They may not be because they kind of watched. But John finished his test knit and then he showed up. Yeah, the marled. It's marledish. Yeah, it's so good. It's such. I love that. Yeah, it's a good pattern. That's with the rusted wheel wheelchair. Chair, not really rusted wheelchair. It's like rustic (laughs) something. (laughs) Oh, oh man! All right, that was fun. So, all right, we're gonna wrap this up. We can hang out with you all day. We'll do that next week. We'll all hang out and just chit-chat. So, yeah. So that's everything that we have. So, again, we're just going to thank you returning viewers. Thank you new viewers. Thank Thank you you for 2,000 subscribers. We super appreciate it. Um, it. Keep Um, on commenting below. We love comments. Likes, dislikes, whatever you want. If you don't like us, dislike us. Go. "Mm," And we're cool. What is your obsession? I think it's hysterical. I don't mind it. I think it's funny. Well, I don't mind it either, but... But I, so do it. If you don't like it, just go. No. Yeah. Why not? See, it's my no. heart. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> it's my heart. he got really nervous. All right. Whatever. Like, absolutely not. Don't do well, that. Because I'm afraid um, people are just gonna do it. And, and then, then yeah, okay. comments. I love. We love getting the comments. We both. Yeah, we I like, love it. Up, it's nice because it's like, hey, did you see what so and so said, or did you see that okay. comment about you know this, that, and the other thing? And like, oh, let me check it out. You know, there's um, a new heel. There's a new toe. Or yes, you know, whatever. Um, it's nice to like hear that, you know, you've been knitting for forty years and. Or that we've you know, inspired somebody to knit yeah, a hat so or wild. a cow or mm-hmm. try out knitting even mm-hmm. that they're normally a crochet and they want to knit. So it, it's right. it's those right. the or like, like hey, unexpected you... side effects of doing this. Yeah. Is that right? Is that what I want to say? Sure. Like I know kind of what you're saying. You know, yeah. like mm-hmm. it's it's so crazy what this has turned into in such a short period of time. Yeah. And I look forward to this all the oh, time I love it. oh my gosh my... i was i was like waiting i yeah well, even last weekend right yeah we were like, last weekend we were like oh, oh wow. man I we, like, should, we can't wait we podcast or something i was thinking and like it, maybe we should do something but i just do not want to get in the routine of trying to do it every week i know and then so being much disappointed pressure. and pressure on yeah. yourself to finish things because i don't feel pressure to finish anything no. you know it's i feel what pressure to in... finish this podcast since okay an hour and 48 minutes Listen, everybody, it was great to see you. Yes, you Join guys. us on Ravelry for our next um, knit along, make along, whatever. Our 2,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. We'll put in the thread today for a Q&A for Saturday. Absolutely. Um, so keep watching Instagram. Follow yes. us both on Instagram if you don't already. So that Everything you can will be in see. show notes right down there and on Ravelry show notes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. So, guys, thank you so much for this viewing this long episode. Um, we will catch you guys next weekend live if you can make it. If not... Two weeks to the next podcast. In a fortnight. In a fortnight. Oh, my God, yes. What Let's not. use that. We're going to use fortnight. How, I love how she speaks. I love She's like not, so proper. But I love the using the term fortnight. Me too. We're going to bring so it we're back. Start. We're bringing back old English. That's how here. we should end our podcast from now on. See you in See a fortnight. See you in a fortnight. Absolutely. There we go. There's our tagline. See you in a fortnight. Because they would use that in Harry Potter, right? Maybe. Know. I don't know. All right. Well, guys, thank you. Bye. Have a great two weeks. See you in a fortnight. We will see you. No, we're going to see them next week. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I don't know what that is. All right. Shut it off. Good. Okay, All right, bye. bye, guys. <laughs>